celebrating the gift of clean water, a life-saving gift in a country struggling to cope with the deadly impact of waterborne diseases like cholera on local communities such as Manuki on the outskirts of the South Sudanese capital, Juba. Water is one of life. Without water, the life cannot go. So we think today when we achieve the, the environment of water, then even we can cook anything that we have it because we have water. Although there is a situation of food, there is no food, but we hope water is the first thing. So we like it very much as a community. The people of South Sudan are enduring not only ongoing violence, but also a dire humanitarian situation. Four million people have been displaced by conflict. There are severe levels of food insecurity and an ongoing cholera outbreak, with 18,000 cases and 328 deaths in the past year. The community of Manuki previously relied on water drawn by hand from a well that was often contaminated. So the construction of a new water system, funded by the United Nations mission in South Sudan, is welcome here. It is also an opportunity to bring together the different tribal groups who were forced into conflict by the outbreak of civil war in 2013 and the sudden surge of violence last year. In the crisis of, 2000, of uh, 2013, it started from this area. But today we are uh, celebrating all tribes um, around here. They are celebrating this opening of this water supply. Uh, it is a remark of unity uh, in this country. Unity not only between people with different tribal affiliations, but also between the 8,000 internally displaced people living at a camp in Manuki and 200 households in the host community. The relationship between the groups has been strained at times because of the limited access to scarce resources such as water, food and firewood. The government and the humanitarian partners has always been trying their best to make sure we provide basic health. It is not to, to put you away completely from the suffering, but to keep you in between the suffering and the happiness. While the water system was funded by UNMIS, it was constructed by non-governmental organisation, the Health Support Organisation, and supported by the South Sudanese government, the groups working together for a common cause. I sometimes hear people say that UNMIS is only protecting civilians in POC sites, while we protect nearly 220,000 people in the six POC sites around the country, I assure you, that UNMIS is being robust to protect civilians across the country. Protecting civilians and building durable peace are the top priorities for the UN in South Sudan. Building new infrastructure like this water system is vital to achieving both of those outcomes so that displaced people can return to their homes to live safely, with dignity and in peace. <laughs>